Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV here. Your success strategist. God's prophet to the nations. I have had some words, keywords, running through my mind and spirit the last few days. Very strong. Number one is unique. Number two is freedom. Boy, I have, I have a new love for that word freedom. Um, it's it's amazing. Number three, uh, uh, activation, activating. You know, functionality. They kind of go together, but we can make it a number four. Number five, prosperity, prospering and flourishing for the thing. Number six, which is the number of man, I really love it, deliverance. And number seven, let's just can this uh, uh, on seven points, success. All of those things that I just said, one, unique. Two, freedom. Three, activation. Four, functionality. Functionally, purposefully functional. You are in your world, in your environment, in your atmosphere. To the best that can be done. <laughs> hey. Number six, the number of men. Deliverance. You need deliver. Oh, we need, we, we, everyone needs it somewhere from something. Number seven, success. So powerful. To get to success, you got to work. The only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. S before W. God is... Uh, he's not a man that he should lie, or the son of man that he should repent. Is that Numbers 23... 19, yes? Yeah. And he doesn't have a plan B. I wanted to tell you that. There's no plan B. There's only plan A. No plan B, C, D, E, F, G. There's only a plan A. There's no way to get to the uh, promised land without these things of, of, of your, your uniqueness. You know, an amazing thing, I was just looking at the length of my hair and I said, you know, I just love it. I just love it. People love it. Every day of my life, people, you know, comment and make comments. It's just a unique thing. It's like a trademark. It's, a, it's an awesome thing. It, it literally bridges the gap to people to think that, uh, uh, you know, that I'm just on the highest level. Listen, uh, I was on a plane a few days ago uh, flying from somewhere to somewhere. Yeah, and this, this stewardess uh, lady, she wasn't young. She looked very experienced and very intellectual, very sharp. She came up to me, she leaned over, she said, she said, sir, you're a movie star, right? I was, I just looked at her. I just looked at her. I, I didn't know what to say. I was like, okay. But I've heard that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of time, times. So I'm unique in that way. You know, I have my, my genre, my arena, my, my flair, my, my personality, my style, my look. Do you think I care about it if someone doesn't like it? Should I care? I don't care. Most people, if you didn't care, you got a short little haircut. You, it doesn't grow right. Or you're just stuck up in your whatever. You know what I mean? This is beautiful, man. This is a gift from God. You don't tell the lion to go get a haircut. What lion bar... This is funny. What lion barbershop is there? Is there a barbershop for lions where they get the crew cut and the short cut? Heck no. Their mane is beautiful. God made it. There's a great preacher. He's in the healing ministry. Phenomenal man of God. Him and his precious wife. They, you know what they call me when they see me? They call me lion. Hi, lion. <laughs> lion of Africa. They prophesy and they sing songs and they do uniqueness okay so and and the unique style of delivery and unique style of the revelation that god gives and you unique you know everything the way god says it and does it it's just you have to have it i i could do a whole long segment on that but i want to cover these seven points quickly number two okay so your unique thing that you have what separates you from other people 
What what is it about you that that no one else has? What do you have that nobody else has? What do you what can you do that no one else can do it the way you do it? That's your significance. You don't want to revel in your similarity to someone else. You want to revel in your difference because wisdom can discern difference. When someone's different and powerful and they have substance and they have essence and they have great uh, things they're delivering, people can notice that. You ever notice a lot of people in the ministry, you know, they're preaching, they're doing all the motions, they're passionate. Some of them I marvel, they got buildings and they got sound systems and carpets and high ceilings and lights and people and I'm like, Woo! But are they really, really deep in the truth and the word? Is the revelation flowing? You know, this teaching anointing that God's placed upon my life, this prophetic mantle that he's placed upon my life, I am amazed at it. Always have been, always will be. The details God gives me and the revelation. You know, lately I, I've been more really reveling in the in the corporate words spoken that the whole body of Christ can grab it and say, hey, I'm taking that word, everybody at the same time, rather than lining people up one by one, although we do pray for people. I had in an old bio 40,000. I lost count of 50, 60,000 people that I've prayed for one by one by one by one. And not like, bless you, favor, blessing, honor, promotion, elevation, healing, deliverance, you know, one, one word at a time. No deep, detailed words. I was in one church in Nigeria. They lined the whole church up. I mean, there was a lot of people there. It was in a conference. And for four and a half hours, it took me to get through the people. Four and a half hours. I preached an hour, and then I went another four hours. Probably the message was, maybe it was more than five and a half hours I was in, I was standing on my feet in the pulpit. When I got back to the hotel, I was just like, like stiff in a stiff position. I was just like, oh my God. And the bed they had in that hotel, it was a horrible thing. It was like a piece of concrete. Like you, you might as well have laid on the, on the hard floor. I mean, you know, some places are like that. And it was a funny story. I, mismanagement, just mismanagement. You know, people are great in some ways, but in some ways people are just crazy. Hi, everybody that's coming on. God bless you. Good. Glad you're here. Share this with others. Take it and share it with others. Seven points. Now, uh, that's a unique thing. That's a unique grace. You know, not, not, and this church, it was uh, the church on the rock in Nigeria. And, the, you know, they don't, they have their regimented services. They, you know, the Holy Spirit can move and they have... But it's all, it's all on a very set time, very a lot of protocol, a lot of regiment, which is good, which is fine. But to have a five and a half hour service, I, they said I, I, it's not been done. But me, it, there was a unique grace to flow, and they wanted it. They didn't want it to stop. They didn't think it was too long. I was in another church in London. I know the guy got mad because I, I just decided to go pray for people. I didn't really ask him if it was okay. I was so heavy under the anointing. I mean, I. If I had things to do differently, I'd go back and, and talk to him first and say, do you want me to pray for everybody or you really want me to stop at this certain time? Because I would just have to say now, looking back, I would have just, you know. But we don't want to cut off the Holy Spirit. A lot of people would have missed their blessing, right? But the host is the host. He's the one who invited. He's the one who's paying. So you got to go. You got to go with, uh, hey, MG, bless you. Hi, JM, bless you. Hi, First Hand, bless you. Hi, Isaac, bless you too. Calls me man of Yah. Okay. Yah, 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 Yah. There's a place called Yah, Yah. He's Yah, Jah, Jehovah. By his name, Jah, you know, Psalm 68, he rides over the heavens. So your uniqueness is important. Number two, freedom. You need freedom. You need to have free expression. You need to have free course. You need to be free to be you. I read a quote of somebody, and I want to add to it. I don't like the way they wrote it, per se. It was one of these uh, uh, famous philosophers, but I, I wanna, I'm, gonna, I'm working on it, and I'm going to take a thought from that, and then I have another thought, and I want to just kind of merge something and write some, some points about this topic. Uh, the only way someone could be happy and, and, and is to uh, 
be free to be who they are. When you're not be able to be who you are, you can fall into deep despair. In other words, whatever's keeping you stuck is a problem. So your uniqueness, never apologize for it because God gave you the ability to be great and unique. <laughs> you want to be as bold as a lion, as bold. Hey, Lion King talking to you here. You, got, you have to be as bold as a lion to just go all out and be you. Oh, people, some people may get mad. Some devils, you know, they can't handle it. But so flipping what? Be you, okay, and be free to be you. I tell you, I, uh, a Friday, we, I had a 12-hour prayer. I it started for me like right around 6 p.m., and we went till 7, almost 7 a.m. in the morning. It was more than 12 hours. 13, 14 hours, maybe 5 in the afternoon to about 7 in the morning. Straight through, praying all night. Fasting and praying all night. Praying, speaking in tongues. I mean, the visitation of God hit me like before 6, like 5, something. And I was just sent into an orbit. And uh, this word freedom, I was listening to this song, a prophetic song called The Freedom Bell. Ring the Freedom Bell. I wish I could play it. I don't have it handy. I can't really do that right now on this live thing here, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll manage to tell people how to listen to this song. It's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying and so powerful. I, I just feel it when I think about it, that I know that mantle uh, is flowing on that song and it, and it just, it, can, can, it coincides with what's on me and very, it's very powerful. And um, the, it's called the, the Liberty Bell, the Freedom Bell, the Voice of Liberty to have liberty in the spirit, the freedom bell, the liberty bell. People need that bell to be wrong. I feel the anointing flowing here. And get into uh, the purpose of heaven that he has. Unique expression, unique grace with freedom. Because when you're wrapped up in someone else's bondage, accords or agendas or what, whatever it is, you're not going to be happy enough and there are people, even in the church world, let me, I'm talking to the saints here, you know, mostly, I don't know of any real sinners that are listening to me here, but I, I don't think, but you know, <laughs> I'm seeing a cloud in the sky here, it looks like a lion, I'm going to take a picture, oh, let, me, let, me, let, me show you, let me show you something too, oh, where is it, come on, man, okay, that's a picture, that's a picture of some, uh, some nice stuff right there, yeah. Another one of me I found, but I really want to take a picture of that. I really do. I'm doing it. Imagine I'm talking to you and I'm taking a photo. Looks like a lion's jaws open in the sky in a cloud. I could show you later. Okay. So so uh God is very serious about the unique expression he's given you. And you being free to flow in that, okay? What was number three? Activation for a new season. I was saying that there are people in the church, even in the church, I'm talking to the saints here, that can bind you up because they're not for you. Jesus said, to this, they said, hey, these are preaching and that we haven't, you haven't commissioned them, whatever. What should we do? Jesus said, leave them alone. If they're not against us, they're for us. And if they're for us, it's because they're not against us. But I have to tell you a principle. There are people, even in the church world, even in Christianity, Christendom, that they look at you and they have some problem with something about you, something that doesn't groove with the, what, what they want or like or don't like. And, and guess what? They're, they're against you because they're not for you. You don't need to be stuck in any environment like that. You need to be with someone's for you and behind you. And you need a new visitation. I said these words. Reactivated, reanimated, retooled, refined, revived, restored, renovated. Come on. Lifted up. Empowered, enlightened, switched on to the real you of, and who you are and what you're supposed to be doing in the kingdom of God. If someone's not really for you and all of that, you gotta you gotta switch it off, make the decision to move forward in another in another dimension. So activation, then that then that leads to number four, 
uh, what was that word? Four was functional functionality. Your function and the purpose of God, you know, moving, okay? Number five, I can't remember what it was right now, but I'll get back to it. Let me go ahead. Number six, the number of men. I love it, deliverance. Everybody needs some deliverance somewhere, and I feel an anointing. I, let me tell you a prophetic word I received a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, a few weeks back. The Lord, some just some, a few days ago. The Lord spoke to me a few, few weeks ago. He told me, he says, I'm revisiting with my judgment those that have hurt you, those that have offended you, those that have conspired against you, those that have damaged the work, my work, your work, your well-being, your livelihood, anything, anything at all. He says, I'm revisiting them now in this season because I want to wipe them completely out that they have no place of expression again in the earth. That could mean death. That's a very serious thing when I heard that. I'm not telling you what I thought of. I'm not telling you what I'm in the mood for. I'm telling you what thus saith the Lord. The Lord spoke to me and said that. I was like, woo, God, since you're saying it, I can repeat it. Since you're saying it, I can shout yes and amen. Since you're saying it, I can believe for it to be so. There are some very wicked people. that have no regard even for your life. They don't care if they kill you. They don't care how much you cry, how much you lose. They want to wipe you out. They want to take everything you have. They want to steal everything. They, and, and people that are operating to do those things, they're the ones that are, are deserving and they're going to get now the pointed end of the stick back. They stuck the sword out that way at you. It's swinging around again and the Lord said he's doing this. And coming back, you're going to chop them and cut them down and cut them off and crush them and they'll be as nothing. Now, people like to say this. Well, don't they have a chance to repent? Well, Jesus said uh, it's better. Oh, I want to show you this picture. Here it is. Look at this. This is when I was in the, in the Wisdom Center speaking on in a conference there. Isn't that a cool? Isn't that cool? Cool picture somebody took. In case you missed it, here it is again. It just popped up again. Ooh, Lord, there he is. Okay, so, uh, and I spoke there on Resurrection Sunday. The video is available. You can get that. Very powerful message God gave me. He spoke to me about servanthood. About servanthood. And uh, uh, introduced Dr. Murdoch right from, you know, right from there. He was came right behind me. We did a session together on Resurrection Sunday. They're live at the Wisdom Center. It was out of this world. I'm telling you, the power of God hit me. But you know what? We're connected. He's an apostle. He's a great man. He's a, he's a father. He's, 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 he's a mentor. He, you know, someone that's for you like that, the anointing on them can get on to you and activate you and propel you into another dimension. And that happened. That was just Sunday before last. And I tell you, everything shifted and changed. It's like a new visitation, a new thing. And I, I wrote him yesterday, and he wrote me back right away and said, Son, your words to me are so great. And I'm, telling, I'm just testifying of how great things are. Blessings that come. And also the anointing that you respect is the anointing you attract. The anointing you sow into is the anointing you receive from. The prophetic grace, you know, the breakthrough power. That, that comes through our ministry. As you, as you celebrate that, uh, uh, great things will happen for you. Now, one thing I've noticed in this anointing is that God uses me. I, all I have to do is get somewhere. I, I don't always have to speak a lot about it or pray a lot about it. It's just the mantle that I'm carrying. It breaks up wrong relationships. It breaks up wrong associations that people have with others. It, it, um, it causes... The devil to just like be turned up inside out and show his ugly face. And you say, that person, I didn't know they were like that. And all of a sudden it all comes up because God wants to, to stir up that whole thing and get you free from any kind of wrong bondage. And, you know, somebody said something powerful. I think it was a, it was a bishop in America. I think it was Bishop Joseph Garlington. I think it was the one that said this. He said, uh, 
if it's if it's if it's weird now, it's going to be weird later. I'd like to know now what's going to be weird later. Let me know about it now so I can adjust myself. You know, if, if someone's got some things that aren't right, let let me let me know now. So let it all be turned out. The prophetic fire does that. Welcome all you that are coming on. Koi, hello. Frank, my beloved covenant friend. Bless you. <sighs> Glad you're here. Glad you are here. And thank you for all you're doing for me in the ministry. The Lord is, uh, is very serious about the operation of his grace, the functionality of it. And number six, the number of man, again, deliverance. I tell you, the deliverance fire of pe to people that have, that have wronged you, God's going to smack them down and crush them down. People that have oppressed you, you're going to get free from it. People that have damaged you, wounded your heart, your mind, and your emotions, and your life in any way, God's going to set you free and get you delivered and free from all of that. And number seven, which is the crux of the, the, the solution to everything, is success. All of these things need to be done to get to the place of success. You need to have your unique expression. You need to know what it is. You need to uh, be moving in that, you know? You need to be free. You need to be empowered. You need to be activated. You need to be elevated. You need to be functional in the thing that God's given you to do. You need to be uh, delivered from any kind of affliction or oppression and you'll be successful in that way thank you father god in jesus name don't, don't, don't i just love this isn't this amazing that this could just become like a little book like a little tiny sliver of a mini book to seven points because i said the seven words at the beginning and i said them all again explained some and i could embellish it a bit more but i just wanted to give that to you i'm very excited about the word freedom i'm very excited about the word unique i'm very excited about the word deliverance I'm <laughs> wow. I'm very excited about the word success and about activation and functionality in the power of the Holy Ghost that there's no limit to your life something occurred to me too someone asked me uh, people have been asking me some business advice look at that Mercedes oh my I like that one Sorry, folks, a nice custom S-Class just drove by me. You know, I've had that. I'm going to get another one. And uh, anyway, the Lord, the Lord, uh, I just asked the Lord. I said, God, I, I, I need to be helping people with their businesses. I am I mean, speaking life into the business, consulting them pr and praying prophetically that things get chopped out of the way and things come together and get done and put together quickly in Jesus' name. And I declare that over you. I declare that over me. I declare that over us all. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Angel Mahoro, God bless you. Where are you watching from? Can you write me a note or say hi where you're writing from? That sounds like a Kenyan name, doesn't it? The Lord bless you and everybody else that's coming on. All, the, all of you that will see the replay, I pray. I feel the anointing so strong here right now. Father, I decree in Jesus' name that every obstacle to business is being broken. Every obstacle to the ministry flow, in full flow, that you have for your son and your daughter, I break that thing in Jesus' name. I command deliverance fire. People that have hurt you, stolen from you, oppressed you, afflicted you, cursed you, witchcraft against you, lied against you, tried to stop you, tried to mess you up, tried to hurt your livelihood, damage the foundation, damage people, damage things. I command that all to be reversed and turned around because the Lord said he's revisiting now with his judgment every fool that operated against you in any way, shape, or form. Look at Joseph. He was, he was, a, he was come against by fools. And in Psalm 105, 16 to about the 20th verse, we see where he says, 15, he said, Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. And after that, he says, Remember Joseph. The psalmist was saying, Remember Joseph. His feet were hurt with uh, fetters of iron, bonds of iron, but he was brought up to a wealthy place. 
He went from the pit to the palace because the Lord favored him. He had fools. His own brothers hated him because he was favored by his father. Uh, and he had the beautiful garment, you know. And, and he was made by his dad and for him. And he, he was hated by them and sold out to be killed. I mean, he's thrown away like trash. And then the stupid woman lied on him. And then this happened and that happened and that happened. And then the people forgot him when he was down there in the place. And, and all of that came around and God brought him right up to where he needed to be because the king said in Genesis 41, Clayton, how are you? I thought of you today or yesterday. Haven't talked to you in a while. How you doing, my friend? What you up to these days? Yeah. Watch the whole broadcast. Replay it. I'm about to finish. Seven key, seven powerful keywords about uh, things I'm excited about right now. Anyway, Joseph was spoken about by the Pharaoh, by the king, and the king said, "Of anyone in our province, near and far, provinces, there is no one anointed by the Spirit of God like Joseph. Therefore." I need him and the power that he's carrying to be in my organization and to be running things economically. And he got that position given to him. And he was a thrown away prisoner. He was a thrown away joke. According to his brothers, according to that stupid possessed woman, according to the guy he was serving that didn't defend him, believe a lie, according to the people that left him down there and didn't care about him, According to the people that put bands of iron around his legs and cut into his ankle skin and bone and his feet, all of that stuff. God went right past all that and took him right up. What does that mean for you? What does it mean for me? God's going to enrich us. Remember Isaiah 45, 2 and 3. I love it. It's the hidden treasures of riches in dark places, secret places, all kinds of places God is going to give. The Bible says that in Ecclesiastes 2.26 also, in Ecclesiastes 2.26, that God gives a job to sinners to gather and collect, people in the world to gather and collect, that those things can then be given to the one who's good before God. That's me and that's you, I hope. If someone happened to be watching this and they don't qualify too well, I'll leave that with you and the Lord. I am not involved in that equation. But myself, I know the labors I've sa sacrificed and given and suffered and done over many years. And, you know, when blessings come back and big things come, it's because God wants to give you a harvest. He's really paying you for your labor. But he's paying you like the CEO of the greatest company. Back pay with interest and dividends and all that. Hey, John, welcome aboard here, son. The Lord is... Uh, the Lord is, is, is good at that. You know, you say, well, I gave this and I gave that and I gave this and I did that and I suffered this and I suffered that and I lost this. And remember Jesus said in, in Mark 10, 28 to 30, he said that you've given up houses and families and lands and all kinds of things for the gospel of my sake. He said, you'll receive a hundredfold in this time and with it eternal life. Wow, there's some really great vehicles driving by here. I don't know what's happening. Maybe the neighborhood's getting upgraded. I didn't know people are driving those kind of cars around here. Maybe something new's happening. The Lord is, uh, is amazing at that. And that's success. Success is your portion. Hundredfold, yes. Hundred times more. Thousand times more. Deuteronomy 111. And um, hmm. success is the greatest revenge, isn't it, for everything? And God wants you to be a multi-millionaire man, multi-millionaires woman, and not in some small currency that doesn't equate well to dollars. I'm talking about USD, euros and pounds level, you know. Because uh, like in Kenya, it's a hundred to one. A hundred shillings is a dollar. So a million dollars in Kenya is a hundred million shillings. So I'm not talking about a couple of million shillings. I'm talking about hundreds of millions, or even billions. Can you believe that? Can you acclimate your mind up to that? 
I heard a man of God that has a real emphasis on uh, financial uh, blessing and prosperity. Uh, uh, Brother uh, Dr. Leroy Thompson, you know. And he was saying something really powerful. He said, uh, when you think about like the wealth of the wicked, God wanted me to be prosperous. God wanted me to be a millionaire. God wanted me to be filled with money and how I hate poverty and I love prosperity and all that. Do we love it? What goes on in your mind when you hear that kind of, when you hear those words? He says, words, words, you know, like, like the, with the Louisiana accent. What happens in your mind when you hear those words? That's what he preaches. <laughs> you know, I thought, me, I'm good. I love it. Up to down. I, there's no downside of that in me. In fact, what my favorite topic is to hear is to hear about success, learn more about it, prosperity, finance. I love it. I love that. I absolutely love it. I mean, when I'm learning something, the worst thing is to be in church and you don't learn anything. You hear a meeting and it's just a bunch of shouting, screaming, and carrying on and what, you know. And like you're like, where's the revelation, man? Where's the intelligent thought? What? How am I going to learn something? How do I become better than I was? I, I have two books offered now. I'm just getting one book reprinted called The Benefits of Excellence. And I have also The Power to Create Wealth on DVD. Those two things right there, and I think it's a $30 value, can be gotten now for $20 as a special. And then I'm thinking $20 only? It should be 20000 but, you know, I'm not trying to be funny. Don't get, don't, don't get, think I'm, but I'm just saying the revelation and the content of power that's in those messages is life enhancing and life altering, life changing for the better. A lot of things going on in the church world that isn't that. It's a very, very weighty thing. You know, someone was talking about the anointing, how expensive it is how expensive it is. I heard T.D. Jakes give a message on that. Said, People come up to him all the time. Pray for me, Bishop. I want your anointing. Lay your hands on me. People come up to me. Prophet, prophet of God, would you lay your hands on me? Release your anointing. I want that anointing. And I thought, woo, I don't know. It's very, very expensive. I told one lady that in a conference in Oklahoma City, a prophetic conference. I was in the church. And the pastor's name was Tom Jones, uh, I think. Remember Tom Jones like the, uh, like the singer? It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Da -na 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 -na. Remember that old song? And Del Delilah, why, why, why? Yeah, we say why, 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 right? True. He was even asking the question in the song. What a phenomenal voice, that Scottish singer, Tom Jones. But anyway, the pastor's name was, was the same name. And I stood in his uh, uh, conference, and the Lord spoke to me. I said, I said, son, the Lord says, man of God, you will be in the White House. People went, wow, how could you say that? What if it doesn't happen? I thought, I heard God say. 14 days, 14 or 15 days later, he was in the White House having dinner by the invitation of President Bush back then. It happened just like that. It wasn't supposed to happen, wasn't planned. It just came up. There was an event thing. He got summoned and called brought to the White House, was sitting in the White House, sitting down, having dinner with the president. I mean, to hear details like that, that God can entrust you with information like that, and to lay out things like that, and also to teach these heavy, heavy revies, you know, heavy revy, heavy, heavy revelation and truth, it takes time in his presence and you can't earn it. It's really the sovereign gift of God. You know, remember the scripture says oh, endlessly, don't, don't boast. You can't boast in it. It's the grace of God. But you can develop yourself in it. And to whom much is given, much is required. Anyway, success is your portion. <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere on that if I keep on it. Success is your portion. Deliverance is your portion. You are unique. I pray your success. I pray activation. I pray illumination, rejuvenation, revival, rest restoration, reformation reconciliation, all things working together for your good. You know, let me smash a sacred religious cow. In Romans 8, 28, people always use that scripture when something bad happens. You know, all things work together for good for those. Because if you love God, then, you know, it'll work out after a while. You know, and they use it like that. 
But it says all things work together for good, not bad. So God was originally saying, I'm on the pathway, and I want you to be on that path of everything working for good. So why is it like a consolation scripture when something goes wrong for somebody? That wasn't the way it was written. Also, another one is Isaiah 60, verse 22. A little one will become like a thousand and a small one like a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. And people write on the, on the, on the Internet every day. They write things like, you know, when the time is right, God will do it. You know, in the right time. God doesn't have a time. He was already ready. He wants you to be ready. He said, when you're ready, I'm already ready. I'm waiting for you to be ready. And when we meet together like that, then it begins to happen. There was no set time. There was no set calendar date or month for your success and blessing and breakthrough and prosperity. It was already planned by God before. He's waiting for you to get there in the now. He was already ready to do it. He wants you to be ready. He was already ready. He's ready to give it to you now. Another little wisdom key is a, a principle, success strategy key is don't wait for anything. Do everything now. Don't wait. Don't waste time. Don't hesitate. Get on with the program. And I pray as I'm going off here, this could be a volume one or it could be a one, a one thing, time. I don't know these seven words. I'm going to get the title of it. And I'll put it up. Replay this. Share it with others. Thank you for being my partner also. On thomasmanton.com, there are ways to sow into the ministry. Uh, PayPal.me forward sign Thomas Manton is another way. Cash app is dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. That's another way. And PESA in Kenya is 0792-320-780. Sow a seed of a thousand or eleven hundred to make it like a I like this one 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 I've sown seeds of a hundred and eleven thousand one 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 uh or one 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 zero 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 I've had people bring me that I've had people sow that I've sown it into other ministries also I like the number or eleven thousand one eleven or one thousand if you can do just that small amount but one thousand one 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 send by M Pesa and tap into the grace of this anointing. I'm praying these seven things over your life. You know, when you sow into an anointing, something happens. A thousand, one eleven. If you're in U.S. dollars, you could do that on thomasmanton.com. A hundred and eleven dollars is a good seed to sow. You could do that on thomasmanton.com. And hey, Dennis, there you are. And how are you, dear? God bless you too. Praise the Lord. Glad you're here. Share this. I'm just about to uh, wrap this and you can replay it and see a very powerful message. So, but you could plant seed and sow seed into the anointing and reap something new. Someone's going to do 11 million. Someone's going to do 100 million. Someone's going to do. Thank you, John. Keep putting them. Cash app is dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. PayPal is paypal.me, M-E, forward sign, Thomas Manton. Not with the doctor. PayPal.me, forward sign, Thomas Manton. That gets directly through on PayPal. Well, you could do all that on the website, on the donations button. So you don't really need all those details. But you can, you can do it that way, or you can just do it on the website. Cash App, I think, has no fee. The Ampesa line is 0792. Can someone write this on there? 0792-320-780. Again, in Kenya, 0792-320-780. Another Ampesa line there, too. These all come direct to me. They're registered to me. There's no problem is 0706-164-191-0706-164-191. Or even better, 0792 also works for WhatsApp. You want to send me a WhatsApp message? 
You can do that on plus two five four seven nine two three two zero seven eight zero. So for M Pesa, it's zero seven nine two three two zero seven eight zero. Praise God. Can someone put the M Pesa line in there? Can you can you type it? Zero seven nine two three two zero seven eight zero that's good too oh seven oh six one six four one nine one can use either one dear can use either one praise the lord god wants you successful he wants you happy he wants you flourishing he wants you flowing he could you call an american called it m peso <laughs> it's like the peso what no, that's wrong, dear. It's, it's uh, plus two five four. You put three five four. You're close. Two five four seven nine two three two zero seven eight zero. That's that's WhatsApp. It's M Pesa. Funny enough, in Swahili, it's Pesa. What we in Mexico call peso, pesos. Pesa. M P E S A. There you go, 011254, that's right, that'll work. But on a cell phone, you can just do the plus sign. You hold the zero button down, it'll go plus. Then just put the country code 254-792-320-780. Right, right there, you got it. 792-320-780, that's perfect, you got it, you got it, you got it. And 706-164191. beautiful. Those are working phones in Kenya. Let me give everyone a number in America that's really easy for me to receive messages, okay? Voicemail or whatever, it'll 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 give me the ability to call you back easily. Here it is. Plus 1 747 26 faith. 747 in the US plus 1 747 26 faith which is 747-263-2484. 747-263-2484. That's an easy way to call me and leave a message. You could also private inbox me. Imagine there are so many ways to write, so many ways to communicate. You can even, when you're on Facebook here, you can also click the message thing on my profile and type me a message. Well, if you do that, please put your telephone number in there, okay? And your email address if you can too, and your phone number, and I can get back to you. Love you. Father, thank you for your grace and your wisdom. That's right. 747-26-FAITH, which is 263-2484. You got it. Father, I thank you for the new beginning, the new release. And I declare that everything in your universe, everything from heaven to earth and earth to heaven is in full functionality. And everything is operating according to your plan. 263, yeah. Can you type, type another note, John? Uh, plus one, seven, four, seven, two, six, three, two, four, eight, four. Thank you. The Lord is uh, is very, very serious about you progressing in this hour. You know, time, the clock is ticking, time is going. And I pray that everybody in the world will, will operate well to your defense, to your breakthrough, to your riches and wealth, healing and health, well-being in every way, shape, and form. In Jesus' name, it is done. So be it. I'm Thomas Manton IV. The website, again, is thomasmanton.com. Our details are also there. Simple one-word thing to get to direct to me to have all these details. And we're updating. We're going to put all these other things on there uh, on a new site that we're building right now. But the site is there working, and all the information is there. You can donate. Everything works. You can do it. You, and you can also ask me for the... Uh, the Benefits of Excellence book and The Power to Get Wealth CD. I mean, DVD. Uh, also, if you'd like it on audio CD instead, I can do that. 
For a love gift of $20, normally a $30 value, you, for a love gift of $20, you can get it. Uh, please add, you know, add $5 for the shipping. Do that for us to help us. And uh, so for $25, we can mail that in the United States. There'll be a way to in the future where these things will also be digitally online. But right now, the physical copy, the book, and the DVD or CD, your choice, for a love gift of $20 plus uh, a little small thing for the shipping and handling. Thank you, $5. $25. Okay, and that's normally a $30, $35 value. I'm just doing that as a special. And the information in there will rock your world. So, so potent. So much content. Principles that you can grab and get. And I'm writing several books. Good news, I'm writing about 10 more books right now. They're going to be coming out. I'm so, 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 so thrilled about that. And the Lord bless you. And let I just declare again that everything is going to work for your good now. For you to have everything that you need and want that's good. Especially for his purpose. His purpose is being done in Jesus' name. No more fear, no more bondage, no more lack, no more poverty, no more disgrace, no more despair. No more trouble, no more struggle. It's over. As God's prophet, I declare it over you in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and give you every single good thing that you believe in him for in Jesus' name. Love you. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Share this, share this, share this. Watch it again and again. And some things I said will pop back out at you. And look forward to seeing you on the next broadcast. Love you much. I am praying for you. Remember the words of Isaiah 48, 17. I am the Lord your God who will teach you to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. God is ordering your steps and ordering the steps of others. That everything works out right. Everything works to your benefit, prosperity, blessing, and favor and abundance in Jesus' name. I'm believing. The Lord spoke to me a few days ago also, and he said to me, Son, do you really trust me? Do you really believe me? I thought, oh, what a question. I said, yes, Lord, I do. Now, please, let everything work. So some things have worked greatly, but other things need to work even greater. And Lord, I thank you that everything's coming together because we have a big, 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 big job to do in the world to cause millions of people to break through. And everything for that is coming forth for you and for me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you. Talk to you soon. Again.